excited about this dish that I just made. Uh, and it's taken me about two years or more to make it. Crazy, huh? Well, the reason why it took so long was because uh, it took me that much time to finally get my butt out in the woods and collect a bunch of acorns. In this case, chestnut oaks. And uh, process them which means cracking them, shelling the meats, drying them, and then grinding them. And grinding them was such a pain. I couldn't find anything to grind them with. They were so hard. I ended up using an antique coffee grinder that I used for my coffee beans. And it's about the only thing that would grind these things. And not only that, it took such a long time, but I'm glad I did. I think it's going to be a great dish. Uh, might not make the acorn flour again, because that was a pain, but just thinking about the process of getting those acorns and processing them. Okay, so I am making a ravioli filling that is going to consist of one of the squirrels that I harvested this past season. And I'm going to make a squirrel ravioli with an acorn flour ravioli dough. So right now I'm going to start with the filling. I'm going to make this filling. And this consists of one squirrel that was pressure cooked for about 10 minutes. Next will be some homemade ricotta cheese. Next we're going to do some grated parmesan cheese. And we have some chicken of the woods mushrooms that I cooked and canned. We're going to season with a little sea salt, cracked pepper, and some dried porcini powder. That's going to enhance the mushroom flavor. Mix this up. Now the homemade ricotta cheese is not, it's just not plain ricotta cheese. It has roasted garlic and some basil, and this will make a really nice filling for the my raviolis. Is my ravioli dough and it is made out of 25 to 30 percent acorn flour. We're going to uh, cut this in half. Got some semolina flour here. It's a very firm dough. It's, it's kind of the Obviously, a little firmer than my normal pasta doughs that I make. Look at that, it's nice. Sure, 
feel good somewhere. No leakage. Continue on until the filling's gone. So, after all that, let's taste this thing and see how good it is. All right. Squirrel ravioli in acorn flour pasta dough in a roasted butternut squash cream sauce. Obviously, has a little more firm texture to it because of the acorn. I've got a, I've got this not just a little bit of nuttiness, but just something that just not to sound cliche or something, but it tastes earthy or woodsy, which is a good thing. I like that. And then the filling. Squirrel. Which, of all the small game that I've hunted, it beat for me, for my taste, as far as texture and flavor, it beats quail, it beats rabbit, it beats pheasant, woodcock. I mean, it really is fantastic. of the chicken of the woods mushrooms in there and that porcini porcini powder really brings up mushroom flavor mm. and I haven't even mentioned the sauce the sauce is fantastic just puree roasted butternut squash with uh, olive oil and garlic some sage and just um, puree it up with some cream and uh, reduce it down. Wow. That's awesome. That is a good dish. I will make that again. Not sure if I'll make it again with acorn flour. But maybe I just have to get a better grinder. <laughs> Thanks for watching.